These are the five chords you need to know to be able to play Build My Life. The first one is a G chord, it looks just like that. The next one is a C chord. What we're gonna do is move the top two notes up a white key, and there's our C chord, it's in second inversion. Then we're also gonna be playing an E minor chord. Looks like that, kind of similar, but instead of a C, it has a B in it, just like that. We're also gonna be playing an A minor chord, A, C, and E, just like that, and also a D chord. A, D, and F sharp, just like that. And there's also going to be a couple of slash chords that we come across, but uh, I'll just address those as we get to them. Here we go, verse 1. Worthy of every song we could ever sing Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe we live for you, oh, we live for you. All right, in verse 2, Jesus, the name above every other name, those are the same chords as verse 1. So we're just going to skip that for now and dive right into the chorus. Here we go. Holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Okay, here's our first slash chord, a G slash D. What that means is play a G in the right hand and a D note in the left hand just like that there is none beside you open up my eyes in wonder and show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me all right and then it goes back to Jesus the name above every other name for verse 3 it's the same as verse 1 and 2, so we're going to skip that. Then it goes to the chorus, which is just like before. Then it does this little turnaround from a C to a D into the bridge. So we're going to pick it up right there. Here's the C chord. Then to the D chord. Now here's the bridge. I will build my life upon your love. It is a Okay, here's G slash B. So once again, that's play a G chord in the right hand and a B note in the left hand. Firm foundation and I will put my trust in you alone. And I will not be shaken. And you can go back, play the bridge another time or another couple of times. Then go back to the chorus, finish that out just like that on a C major chord. Before you go, I wanna give you something for free that's gonna really help you. If you are interested in getting better at playing chords on the piano and being able to read chord charts and knowing how to play the different chords on piano for worship, you will definitely wanna check out my free guide. It's called the Quick Start Chord Guide. I take you step by step and show you how to play the five most common types of chords on the piano, starting on any note, playing it in any key, so that you can read a chord chart and be able to play the chords and not have to go watch a YouTube tutorial, but you can just know how to play all the chords on the chart already. You can find that totally for free at McCarthyMusicSchool.com slash guide. Please go download it and get it for free. It will really help you out. Otherwise, let me know in the comments what the next song you'd like me to teach is. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Here we go.